Hello everyone, welcome to FinalTutunnel.com and today we'll be discussing about a very important procedure on board bulk carriers which is called trimming. On bulk carriers, the word trimming has two meanings. The first meaning of trimming is uh, the process of making the cargo level in the ship's hold. Now this procedure is something to do with uh, utilizing the maximum space in the cargo holds and uh, like by leveling out the cargo such that it occupies the vacant spaces and voids in the cargo compartments. The second meaning of trimming which we will be discussing today is uh, about bringing the ship to a certain draft or trim by means of loading a certain quantity of cargo leading to completion of the loading operation. Now in simplistic terms if I may define it is the procedure of distributing certain quantity of cargo into the holds so that on completion the ship reaches a certain draft forward and aft and a certain trim. So this procedure is called trimming and we'll be discussing about the same today. So to explain my case I have got a Panamax bulk carrier having seven holds. The situation is that intermediate draft survey has finished and the drafts obtained you can see on the top left corner. Clearly the vessel has a sag of two centimeters and the trim is 40 centimeters. We have to load the ship till the summer draft of 13.482 meters. The task for the ship's officer is to calculate the balance amount of cargo and distribute it so that the ship finishes on an even keel and load it to a draft of 13.482. Now prior to carrying out a trimming, we need to be very sure about three things. The first thing is that the ship officer must be aware of the limiting draft of the ship. The limiting draft could be the load port draft restrictions, it could be the draft restriction at uh, the discharge port or uh, any bunkering port or intermediate port, any canal transit, load line zones. There can be many many situations where you've got a certain draft restriction. The important takeaway from this point is that the ship's officer he should be fully aware of uh, the draft restriction and uh, he should not overload. Point number two, always take into account the sag the vessel may, might experience in the process. A different vessel can have a history of uh, different uh, sag amount depending upon the, the cargo also which they are loading. A high density cargo will tend to sag the vessel more compared to a uh, lighter density cargo. So the important takeaway from this point is never overload the ship. You should always know how much sag allowance you should keep in hand. A prudent chief officer will always keep a certain SAG allowance in his calculation. And point number three, always as far as practicable take penultimate holds for trimming. Say hole number two and six in this case. So for, for a ship size of Panamax and above always use penultimate holds. For a ship size of let's say Handy Max and below uh, you can use uh, the end on holes like number one or number five for that matter. Actually you can use any hold. It depends upon the, the the kind of trim being experienced, the kind of trim you want to finish on, also whether you have got space in that cargo hold or not. Having said that, an appropriate amount of trimming quantity should always be kept in hand for final trimming. Sometimes it happens that you might be loading at a port where the short loading scales are not calibrated. Always keep sufficient trimming quantity in hand because it might happen that because of this wrong calibration at shore side, you might not be left with sufficient amount of cargo in your hand and this could really create a problem because maybe the trim is out of hand and, and you are not left with sufficient amount because of this uh, wrong short scale to correct the trim or bring it to a certain draft or even keel. So there are four stages of carrying out trimming. Let's move on to the step one which is calculate the sinkage. First we need to determine that how much is a sinkage available. Sinkage available has got a very simple formula and that is the maximum loadable draft or the draft to which you will be loading minus the current mid draft and minus the sag allowance if you are taking any. Now I want to give a little focus here to current mid draft. The current mid draft should always be the draft which you are seeing visually. The ships are loaded on visual draft and do not go for any mean draft because it might be that you might calculate certain mean draft and which is different from your visual draft. So always make sure that the current mid draft what you are using is the one which you are seeing visually. So let's calculate the sinkage available. In this case it is uh, 13.482 minus 13.220. For the simplicity of calculation I am not taking any sag allowance in this. Now basis of this sinkage let's calculate how much 
cargo we can load corresponding to the sinkage available. So for calculating cargo to load, we have got a very simple formula which is equal to sinkage available converted into centimeters into the TPC of the ship at that draft. We arrive at a figure of 1789 tons of cargo which I have rounded off to 1790 tons. Okay, so this step is very clear, very simple and very straightforward. Let's move further. So after calculating that how much cargo you can load for that available sinkage, we have three important tasks to cater to. The first is the ship should load 1790 tons of cargo. The second is the ship is loaded to her summer draft that is 13.482 meters in this case and the ship is even keel. So this is a point where we should know about an important table on board the ship which is called trimming table. It might be a part of your trim and stability manual or it can be a separate manual. So you need to look out for that and always keep the copy handy. The tables are given in the format uh, which we'll be discussing later and uh, mean draft shall always be used in order to find the correct value. So we need to enter the table using the mean draft. So let's move on to the understanding of how trimming table work. So this is how a typical trimming table section will look like. I'm not taking the, the whole of the trimming table page, but yes, I'm taking the relevant data which we should be concerned with. In this case, it's the data from hole number two and hole number six. If you see the top row, it says TFTA repeatedly, followed by a number of 11, 12, 13, 14. 11, 12, 13, 14 is nothing but the mean draft of the ship. F stands for the forward, A stands for aft. So for cargo hold number two, if we go into the same row, we will see in the column of TF11, it is written 0 0.056 and the column of TA11 is written negative 0 0.022. So it means that if we load 100 metric tons of cargo in cargo hold number two, the forward draft will increase by 0 0.056 meters and the aft draft at the same time will decrease by 0 0.022 meters. So this negative sign is nothing but stating to us or telling us that the aft draft will decrease. The positive sign, which is not shown but understood, says that the draft increases. So similarly, if we load 100 metric tons of cargo in cargo hold number six, the forward draft will decrease by 0 0.011 meters and the aft draft will increase by 0 0.043 meters. Now I'll show you a practical calculation for our mean draft which is 13.20. So let's calculate for our ship. So for a mean draft of 13.20, we have to look into the column of TF13, TA13, TF14 and TA14. And uh, we have to interpolate for 13.20. So I've already interpolated the values. Like I said, you can use any hold for trimming purpose and depending upon the actual condition and how much balance space the cargo hold has, you can choose any hold. So in this situation, obviously I'm using hole number two and six uh, for carrying out the trimming because this is what I planned. This is my loading sequence. So this brings us to our second step in which we have to calculate the change of trim, which is caused by loading cargo into hole number two and six. So we can devise a table which is shown on your screen. And what we need to do is calculate the change of trim. This is achieved by getting the difference between the forward and the aft trim draft change values. If you can see in cargo hold number two, we are keeping the sign alive. We are always keeping the sign alive and trying to take the difference. So that's why for cargo hold number two, the values are being added. But in the case of cargo hold number six, the, again, the values are being added because we are keeping the sign. So this step is self explanatory. And now we have to check the total change of trim. To calculate total change of trim, we have to add 0 0.076 and 0 0.051 and we got 12.7 centimeters. Please disregard for the moment that uh, cargo hold number two will trim the ship by head and number six will trim the ship by stern. Currently just forget this thing. We just are playing with the numbers over here and uh, we just calculated the total change of trim. So let's move on to step number three and which is to calculate the cargo to load in first hold. So this step will result in determination of cargo which we are supposed to load in hole number two. As you know, the present trim of the ship is 0 0.40 meters. To bring the ship to even keel, we need to change the trim by head by 40 centimeters. So let's tackle this first and how to bring the ship first to even keel. That is what we're gonna achieve 
by using this simple formula as shown on your screen. So the cargo to load in cargo hold number 2 will be equal to the trim required in centimeters into 100 divided by trim change cost by cargo hold number 2. So if you look at the previous page, you will find out that the trim change cost by cargo hold number 2 was 7.6 centimeters. This formula will result in your certain quantity of cargo. In this case, it is 526 tons of cargo and same needs to be loaded in cargo hold number 2 so as to bring the ship to even keel. That means the forward and aft draft will be equal. So out of 1790 metric tons which we were supposed to load totally, 526 metric tons of cargo is now to be loaded in hold number 2. So balance amount of cargo will be 1790 minus 526 which gives us 1264 tons of cargo. Now the important thing is that we need to distribute this cargo into hole number 2 and 6 such that there is no change of trim. So this is what the technique is and that is where we come to our step determination of cargo in second hole. As you can see on your screen cargo hole number 2 has been loaded by 526 tons of cargo. The balance cargo which remains is 1264 tons which needs to be loaded in hole number 2 and 6 such that the trim remains zero. We have already come to an even keel after loading 526 tons of cargo in cargo hole number 2. To keep the trim same and increase only the draft we need to get to the figures which we need to load in hole number 2 and 6. Now for that we need to apply a simple formula again which is total weight of cargo to load in tons multiplied by change of trim caused by cargo hold number 6 in centimeter divided by change of trim caused by 2 and 6. So you need to remember this formula for quick calculation because normally in situations of trimming you don't have uh, much of the time. Try to remember this formula it will become handy especially in those times when you are short of time. So by using this formula let's calculate this results in 507.59 tons of cargo. So cargo which needs to be loaded in hold number 2 again is 507.6 tons and consequently in number 6 you will be loading cargo which will be 1264 metric tons minus 507 tons which gives you 756 tons of cargo. So let's get to the summary of it. So if you see in this chart we loaded 526 tons of cargo in hold number 2 which brought the vessel to even keel. To further load the ship and to bring her to the summer draft we need to load 508 tons of cargo in hold number 2 and the balance remaining 756 tons of cargo in hold number 6. So total of 1790 tons of cargo has been accounted for and this will be the figure which you will be giving to the shore terminal in order to load for the final trimming ports. Obviously you need to give a lot of attention and see how the ship is behaving and the ship is not sagging too much. So I think this is it. This is how you trim the bulk carriers. And just in case if you want to get a, a free copy of a trimming uh, software in the form of an Excel sheet, you can always subscribe to us at ask at the rate funnel to tunnel .com and we will be happy to provide you a data sheet which you can use on any ship by changing few data elements. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. <music>